Hey guys, what's up? It's Malkozonki. So as you can see in my inventory, I have six Ascension Signets, and that's because for any of you that haven't been in my friends chat the past couple days, you might not know this, but I have been killing the Ascension bosses. So right now I'm going to be showing you my guys my loot. I'm going to be making an Ascension crossbow and basically doing the final, you know, whatever, seeing how much money I made slash lost. I can tell you I didn't make as much as I'd like. Uh, I didn't get very lucky on uh, one of the bosses, but anyway, we'll go over that a little bit in the video. But first of all, I need to make my Ascension Crossbow. So here I'm just trying to sell off a few of these keys um, that I've kind of been just... I had a few left over from killing bosses, so I'm trying to sell those off. But anyway, to make the Ascension Crossbow, first of all, I need a Dragon Crossbow. And then I believe I need to go back to the Ascension Dungeon and make this into a crossbow, so that's not buying. Uh oh, we may be in trouble right now. And dragon limbs won't buy either. So, um, I guess we wait. Okay, the dragon cross for bot for 25.9 mil, which was about 5 mil more than I wanted to pay. But anyway, that's no big deal. So apparently I also need 100 ascension shards and then just go back to the, uh, the ascension monastery and make this thing. Alright guys, moment of truth. Um, I have actually been working at two and a half days, full days, well not 24 hour days, but full like five hour days of RuneScape playing, uh, working on this thing. So it took me about 12-13 oh, hours, but anyway, I'm not exactly sure how to create this crossbow. I believe you have to talk to this guy. Alright, create my ascension crossbow. That looks very, very cool. So I have an Ascension Crossbow. Did I just do a task by making an Ascension Crossbow? If that is a task, that is a pretty insane requirements task. And I completely forgot a requirement. Uh, or I teleport to get out of here. But anyway, yeah, I have an Ascension Crossbow. I'm not going to be keeping this thing. Um, even though if I sold my Slayer Tab, I could get an offhand Ascension Crossbow. But I'm not going to because I don't want to sell it. But anyway, um, I'm going to go to the GE and see how much I can sell this sucker for. Alright, before we sell, I just gotta warn you guys, it cost me 245 mil to make this crossbow. So, um, if this crossbow sells for above 245 mil, I mean, I know the grand exchange price is higher than 245 mil, but if there's one thing I've learned from my time merchants is to never trust grand exchange prices, and also I tried to merch Black Mass, it didn't work out too well, don't worry about those, don't merch them, but anyway, um... The grand exchange price is 254 mil, so if it sold at that price, I'd make 15 mil profit, which isn't a whole lot. But uh, let's just put it in and see how much it sells for. 261 mil. So, that's about 20 mil profit right off the bat, um, which isn't great. But we also have all the regular drops to sell. So I'm going to be um, pulling all the regular drops, the non-ascension crossbow drops, out of my bank and uh, see how much we can tack onto that profit margin. Alright, I'm back. This is all the regular drops that I got from the Ascension Dungeon. I did keep close track, so these are all accurate. Um, I'm not exactly sure how many kills it took, but I do know that I spent 240 mil on the keys themselves. And uh, yeah, we sold the Ascension Crossbow for 261 mil, so 21 mil profit so far. I'm just going to abort these, the, this black mask offer really fast. They're not selling anyway, so... Um, so 1.8 mil worth in coin drops. They do drop a lot of coins, and they do drop a lot of ascension shards also, which I picked up because, you know, they're worth a fair amount of money. Um, of course, they're not going to sell. I don't know why these things don't sell, because they're like the third best fletching XP in the game, so I'm not exactly sure why people wouldn't want to buy them. But uh, anyway, lots of herbs as well. So hopefully this adds up to be a large amount. Also, I got 19 serenic scales. Um, and those are used to make the ceramic armor, and they're also ceramic scales are also crashing hardcore right now. So I'm kind of really hoping that those ceramic scales still held a bit of value because those are like 40 mil GE price. But I happen to know that they're just crashing so hard that um, I'm not exactly sure how much they're going to be worth. So I realized I almost just kept that uh, amount of money from the black masks in my coin pouch, but luckily I caught that, and with the uh, the magic of editing, it is now gone. So selling these seeds as well, these of course dwarf weeds and lantidime seeds are worth a ton, so that's gonna be quite nice. Lantidime seeds are going down there, 50k not long ago. And torsal seeds, of course, these days are not worth very much. Okay, so here's the moment of truth. Serenic scales. 
When I got my first Renek scale, it was still at 2.2 mil GE price. It's now at 1.8, so I really hope these sell for a fair amount. Uh, I'm not surprised about that. Of course, they are crashing because Serenic isn't very useful because range is by far the weakest of the combat styles. And I don't even know if these are going to sell for like 500k each. I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't. But anyway, let's just... Yes, I realize they're going to be very low. Just sell them. Okay, so I got 15 mil from the Serenic scales even when the GE price was like 40 mil, so that's not very good. But anyway, uh, I am still profiting a fair amount, I guess, from doing this. So selling off the rest of these drops, um, I guess the regular drops, they're not worth a ton, but they're definitely still worth picking up because you can make a little bit of money from them. Dragon Arrowheads, these are also insane fletching XP, but uh, people don't care about fletching XP apparently because they're not buying them. I'm not quite sure if making Dragon Arrows is actually better XP than making Ascension Bolts. Um, I think they're about the same, but I'm not completely 100% sure on that. And wow, 1.3 mil worth of Dragon Longswords, that's pretty crazy. Don't think people will want these rune arrowheads, but uh, I guess they sold, so that's interesting. Collect a few more mills from here, and every single uh, penny of this is just pure profit because um, the Ascension Crossbow itself did pay for all the keys. But anyway, also the bosses do drop keystones, so I got one Segundus keystone and one Primus keystone just from killing the bosses themselves, so they do drop them, which is kind of interesting. Oddly, I didn't get this Primus Keystone from killing Primus, and I didn't get the Secundus Keystone from killing Secundus. They're different bosses, but anyway, all right, let's collect that. And add to pouch the coins, so 31 mil. And then in the bank, the crossbow sold for 261 mil, so we'll withdraw that. So the whole activity netted me 292 mil. And a little bit of change here that we'll withdraw. And of course I spent 240 mil on doing this, so that means I made about 52 mil from doing the Ascension Dungeon. Anyway, that's about all for this video. Thanks for watching you guys, and uh, I guess it was kind of worth it. I made 50 mil in about 12 hours, so what, that's about 4.5 mil profit an hour? 4. Point around 4, between 4 and 4.5 mil profit an hour, so I would have made better money if I had just killed Dagonoth Kings during that time, but um, I guess it was kind of fun. Five out of the six bosses I really enjoyed killing, uh, and it was interesting, you know, I was doing different boss, so yeah, I guess if you're a little bit luckier than me, you could make more than 5 mil an hour, but I guess if you're kind of average drop rate player like me, you can expect about 5 mil an hour killing ascension bosses, but unfortunately if those serenic skills were still worth 2 mil, I would have made quite a bit more. Anyway, thanks for watching the video guys, I hope you enjoyed, and farewell.